So, you just want to burn things. Not a problem. DT is how smooth the particles are drawn, low DT is very smooth, and high is very choppy. The higher spawn rate factor, the more fire gets instantiated. Spawn speed affects the delay time between when you click and when the particle activates. The higher the spread, the more the flames will disperse. The more turbulence you have, the more messy the waves will get. The higher the scale, the more the turbulence will be affected. The higher fade opacity, the smaller each individual fire becomes. Fade opacity random makes the fade a little bit more unpredictable. The higher the fade size, the smaller the burn gets. The higher fade size random, the more the fade size becomes unpredictable. The higher the life, the longer the burn particles will exist. The higher burn random life, the more unpredictable the life of each particle becomes. The higher the spawn rate, the more fire particles will be instantiated. The more spread you have, the more scattered each particle will become. Global wind X, Y, and Z just determine the direction the fire burns. X controls left and right, Y controls up and down, and Z controls forward and backward. The bigger smoke life, the longer the smoke particles will last. The more smoke life random, the more unpredictable the lengths of each smoke particle will be. The larger the smoke spawn rate, the more smoke particles get created. The more smoke spread you have, the more dispersed smoke particles become. Adding turbulence again makes the fire direction more unpredictable, and the pattern of the turbulence can be controlled over here. Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around. Thank you.